back in the uh, town centre from uh, the shopping giants Westfield and Hammerson to Battersea where that great power station or most of our lives, most of our lives fit for nothing except the album cover for Pink Floyd. <laughs> now I'm going to be transformed into jobs, into homes, into flats, into businesses and here in the Olympic Park stretching right the way through to the Royal Docks you're seeing billions of pounds of investment coming to London. I think as a direct, as a direct product of what people saw last year, I had uh, the honour of receiving in my office in City Hall the former French Prime Minister Alain Juppé in the radio studio. And uh, he's, he's no longer French Prime Minister, he's now Mayor of Bordeaux. And all he came into our business, Legion d'Honneur and all his flunkies, and he told me that he was very proud because he was he was now the mayor of a, of a city that had 239,517 people. Therefore, he was the mayor of the ninth biggest city in France. And you know, I got the ball back very firmly over the net. And I said that we had 250,000 French men and women in London. And now I was the mayor of the sixth biggest French city. Believe me, it's coming to London because of what people saw last year when they turned on their TVs and they looked at our city. And what did they see? What was the best thing about those Olympic and Paralympic Games? What was, what was the most wonderful thing? Was it the transport network on which I've just taken the Prime Minister today on the Jubilee Line? Very, very bit toasty, but it was running beautifully well. <laughs> Three miles an hour faster than when I was elected. Was that, was that the best thing? Was it the security guards? who turned up in huge numbers, having exhausted all the alternatives? <laughs> was it Team GB? Yeah. Apparently, yes it was! Who won more medals per head than any other country on Earth? In a statistic that I have not yet verified, but I'm sure. <laughs> or was it, was the thing that really distinguished the London Olympics, was it something else? Was it something about the atmosphere of London? I'll tell you what I think it was. It was the volunteers, wasn't it? It was the army of the Magenta Magicians, the Team London Ambassadors, the Games Makers. It was you who made the difference. You sent an image around the world of a city that was welcoming and generous and dynamic and warm-hearted and caring and where people did acts of super erogatory kindness for others and that was polychromatic and polymorphous and generally the most wonderful place on earth. And that's why people say, get me to London. <laughs> so thank you very much, all you volunteers. Thank you everybody for coming along today. Are we going to keep this thing going? Are we going to do, are we going to do what my noble and learned friend Lord Sebastian Newbold Code says? Are we going to sign up? Are we going to sign other people up for volunteering? Yes, we are. <laughs> More volunteering. Uh, do something fantastic for your city. Do something great for your city and your community. Sign someone else up today. Sign someone else. Tune in. Turn on. No, what? Join in. Join in. Sign up. Join Team London. Join our volunteers today. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming along. And I hope, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic afternoon. Thank you.